today was the beautiful Ines Rao, and I'm very happy to have you here in our studio. Um, Ines is a model. Ines um, is an actress, and we're going to talk a lot about that, an activist for people's rights. And um, so, yeah, hi, Ines. Thank you so much for having me. I'm very happy to be here. You look amazing, by the way. Thank friend. you. So do you. So do you. And I was happy to see you on that red carpet. I la that was a moment, right? I know, it right? It was so powerful. Like, yeah. us girls looking amazing on the red carpet. I yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Ines, um, well, first and foremost, uh, um, you know, tell us about yourself a little bit. So, uh, well, in the present moment, I mean. In the present moment, so yeah. As you said, uh, my name is Ines Rao. I'm French, fashion model and actress. Uh, I'm happen to be as well a trans woman, uh, which doesn't define who I am, of course. It's a part of my story, and uh, I'm very happy. Mm -hmm. It's a brand new word. I think it's a time of acceptance. It's a time of uh, raising yourself, accept who you are, and make the difference in this world, you know? I just think you're a beautiful girl. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's it, you know. And I do know everyone goes through challenges and oftentimes you, you don't really get to achieve anything if you don't have to pull through something, right? Of course, yes. And every one of us has uh, a different challenge. But you mentioned before uh, this podcast recording, you mentioned that you or actually in the upcoming TV series in France? Oh my God, I am so excited about that. So there is basically this book mm -hmm. that I have to say I haven't read, which is so famous in France. It's almost as famous as a comic book. Mm -hmm. You know, like the characters, people relay so much of the characters because the writer, is, she's a very, very good writer. And this book, it's millions of, they sell millions of, of that book, and so they decided to, to make it a TV series in mm -hmm. France called Vernon Subutex. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it will be everywhere afterwards. What does that mean? Means I mean, it's just the name of the, the lead character. It doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. It's just the okay. name that the okay. character has. Okay. It's happened in the 80s, mm -hmm. which is amazing. And I'm playing one of the lead characters of this TV series with one very important actor in mm -hmm. France called Romain Duris. Mm -hmm. And I'm very excited. It's my first, uh, it's my first role. experience yeah. acting, and I have to say, so far, the best pro experience ever. I love okay. it. So you love acting. I love acting, but I was lucky. The character that I play is very close to mm -hmm. who I am, mm -hmm. so it was easier for the first uh, experience mm -hmm. to interpret someone who was really mm -hmm. close, age. Uh, physical appearance, story, mm -hmm. uh, habits, mm -hmm. job, and everything. Mm -hmm. So, so. Uh, so your acting technique? Did you work on it? Do you? How do you work on it? So that's the thing. Uh, as I said, I was very lucky because the character is very close to who I am. Uh, she's a beautiful woman. She's young. She's a fashion model. She's crazy. She likes to party. She mm -hmm. likes men. She doesn't give a fuck. Uh, she's a trans girl, but it's impossible to tell unless she's telling uh, who she is. Mm -hmm. She has done everything very young, and uh, it's happened to be very close to my story, so mm -hmm. I was very lucky. And also, the production liked me so much that they allowed me to be very comfortable with the text, mm -hmm. to not stick into the text, and to be uh, free to change words and mm -hmm. to just like hide things if I want. So basically I didn't really have to be coached about that or to, I just had to be myself, you know. Mm -hmm. It was just her name was different. Mm -hmm. So it was easy Would you, to me. Would you, do you think you would take on the challenge of not being yourself and play a character that's very far from who you are? I, I would love to and I yeah. hope uh, I can do that. I'm sure I can. It's gonna be a lot of work for the first experience on that. It was very easy, as I told you, because the character it was very close to me. But my next challenge is, first of all, I don't want to play a trans person. Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't want it to... We're going to get to that. I, yeah. I really want to... Yeah. It's, it's, it's a super interesting subject yeah. matter. Yeah. So, so yes. So, um, I mean, I didn't want it to play a trans person in a, in, a, in a movie because I think it's very cliche to, mm -hmm. to, do, to do it. I'm a woman anyways. I mean, I don't really feel like a trans person. I'm a woman. You're a girl. I've always yeah. been. Uh, I talk about myself as a trans person sometimes when we talk about fashion or TV because that's the way they put you on cases, but mm -hmm. I'm trying to change that, you know. Mm -hmm. 
I, I just always thought it was incredibly unfair uh, that uh, people uh, who have that kind of background are not taken for their own identities. Of course, because it's a part of who yeah. we are and not defines our lives. Right. Well, I mean, I, I really honestly, like, I, I, I see you play just girls. Oh, James Bond girl, please. Yeah. So let them know. Yeah, actually. <laughs> but you know what's my biggest dream ever? Yeah, yeah. So it's James Bond and it's Batman. It's my Ooh. biggest dream in the world. Yeah. I've, I can me, see you. I can see you wear those outfits. And, to play yeah. the Batman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. This is the sixiest yeah. thing ever. Are you, are you yeah, good with I guns? Do, yeah, I do martial arts. Oh, you do? I do that. So I, I, I like blockbuster action movies and everything. Mm -hmm. That's what I would love to do here in mm -hmm. Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's super cool. But like going back to that subject, I, I'm always amazed that... Um, I mean, gay people play straight people all the time. and Nobody cares, right? Mm -hmm. But so how come transgender people cannot play... Who they feel that they are of and course. who they and look who like they are. are. Yeah, yeah, who, who they, they are, are, period. Yes, yeah. exactly. And so that is something that I, I think needs to be um, changed. Yeah, definitely. And I'm working on that, girl. I'm telling you. Good for yeah. you. Good for you. So, 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 yes, yeah, so I think to go back to that question, which was very interesting, my biggest challenge is going to be to really get out of my uh, comfort zone and to play a woman who is completely different. Mm -hmm. you know and that's gonna make me a real actually a housewife yeah I would <laughs> like it. Yeah. yeah not the desperate one for sure no for sure yeah for sure not yeah it's too much strength in those eyes mm -hmm. thank you so yeah, much yeah of course yeah well um um what about your modeling career are you gonna continue that or so, you're gonna concentrate more on acting i mean you know uh nowadays one works for the other so I'm, I'm just taking I'm just taking it the way it comes. I'm mm -hmm. still a fashion model. I'm doing well, and uh, for now it's how I pay my bills. Mm -hmm. So I mean, the more fashion you do, the more exposed you are for the movie industry, mm -hmm. and if you do movies as well, you book campaigns as well. So I think both uh, works really well together, mm -hmm. and for now that's the way I, I see mm -hmm. it. But the thing uh, that I I, I don't think I'm going to be able to be a fashion model very long because there is a superficiality about it that doesn't relate to who I am. Mm -hmm. I'm being more and more soulful, yeah. more spiritual. Mm -hmm. And to just represent brands and everything at a point, I think I'm going to be tired of it. I mean, I really want to be an actress, not just for the fame or the, the light of it, but because I want to tell stories, I want to make people laugh, I want to make people cry. I've already changes, changed my gender, but also I want to be everyone. Mm -hmm. You know, it's part of, uh, as well, of uh, life experience. You know, mm -hmm. I want to be a mother, I want to be a prisoner, I want to be a killer, I want to be a, a homeless, I want to be a doctor, I want to be every woman, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's what really fascinated me about the, the acting, the acting, yeah, 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 more yeah, than yeah. Any, anything else. Yeah, and um, okay, so yeah, I guess I guess I can see that in in fashion you're like more just like this one type of girl, mm -hmm. right? And acting career, of course, uh, would open a lot more as far as the creativity. I mean, people cannot really relate to you as a fashion model. They dream to be you, but they don't feel like you are like them. Right, way, you know. So when you're an actress, it's completely different. They feel for you because you make them feel that we are together mm -hmm. on this. You know, they, they relate to you emotionally because mm -hmm. you give your emotion, you give your soul. You said something. Tell your stories, and that's exactly why I'm here too. Mm -hmm. Like that's why I moved because I felt like I have my stories to tell. So what are your stories? What do you mean? I mean, what are the stories? Sorry, I'm French, so sometimes no, I... No, 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 yeah, I get it. It's just, for example, I moved from Kazakhstan, right? And it was such a strong uh, impulse for me to move because I always felt that there are amazing stories that uh, are, like, let's say, in um, the legends, the mythology, you know, of the indigenous people of mm -hmm. our land, which who we are, and the history of our people that hasn't really been told in the right proper way and I felt like 
if I don't do it, who is going to do it? So, or if someone else is doing it, I will do it as well. And uh, together we can contribute to, you know, uh, bringing about these beautiful, beautiful mm -hmm. stories, you know, and um, uh, contributing in mm, telling those stories and bringing awareness to our nation, you know, because the Soviet Union, a lot of, a lot of the, the history has been, actually kind of lost a lot of knowledge of the history a lot of knowledge of the culture of the uh the spiritual culture has been lost it's fascinating so, yeah. i love it so my mm -hmm. story basically is you know I'm, i come from the ghetto uh, i wasn't born uh, in the right body i wasn't born in the right neighborhood i wasn't born uh, in the right family in the way that i love my family but they didn't have any money and everything so my story beyond the fact that i've changed and i've transitioned it's more than if you really want something and if you really want to become someone, no matter what are the obstacles, the color of your skin, the gender that you are assigned uh, at birth or the neighborhood that you come from or whatever, or your social statements, you can become whatever you want. You know, like being in the Golden Globes red carpet like a week ago, coming from the hood, I was like, I, I, I did that. And you know, I had this press conference with the IHFPA and then I realized that, wow, how can I draw myself so high? Mm -hmm. And I did it on my own, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want to tell people, that you can do anything if you really want that's to. That's a true empowerment it. statement. It's true, and it's universal. Mm -hmm. It's not just for girls or for men or for people who are transitioning. It's beyond that. Mm -hmm. And also my story, my next thing that I really want to be talking about, mm -hmm. it's to consider ourselves more our, as souls because people relate too much uh, to their bodies, to their appearances, to the age they have. Uh, they're freaked about the age they have, to, to they're, they're freaked about uh, their gender or color of the skin or religion and everything. People define themselves with all those cases relating to the appearance. But I think that we are souls. And transitioning from a body to another one, I took a step back from the body. Oh, did you? I did. So I, I, I realized how powerful were my soul because my soul hasn't changed, mm -hmm. but my entire body did. You know, I, I, I made physical changes, of course. So then I, I realized that we are souls mm -hmm. and our body is just the temple of our souls. So no matter how you look like, this, you have to relate to your soul. So now that I've changed everything about my body, I relate to my soul so much. And I know that this soul will never age or this soul will never change. So I relate to it, you know. Mm -hmm. And we, we have to be more um, connected to our soul, to be more spiritual, not necessarily on, the spir on, the, on a religious way, but to be aware of our soul and not just about our bodies. Mm -hmm. That's why I like this movement now to do more meditation, yoga, mm -hmm. to just like... Uh, connect to your soul you know I think it's the future and that's what I want to talk about the soul we need to like take care of our souls yeah that's very what do you powerful. think about it well I, I, I feel the same exact way mm -hmm. I meditate and um, I I like to spend time on my own because I want to concentrate on just being 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 present in yes. the moment. and uh, I really truly believe we are all one yeah and i don't believe in judgment because how do you judge another when that is a representation of you of course you know i love it yes That's definitely beautiful. and so uh this is this is why so, some of the things in our society like people and i wouldn't even judge the people who judge because i would be on the same level but exactly them, you yeah. know i just look at it and i smile or I'm a human being, so sometimes I get mad too. But, of but you're like, just we're gonna get there. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. It's frustrating. Mm -hmm. It's frustrating. Uh, I mean, my journey is different than yours, but I, I too, I went through all kinds of challenges myself, being a single mom and immigrant, and moving here, and you know, having the uh, career goals, wanting to become a filmmaker, and so on and so forth. So but that you did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And. Um, it's just you know one step at a time one step at a time and and that belief in your essence what you call soul or essence um that really what carries you through this That's kind exactly of journey yeah. yes mm -hmm. I yeah. agree with that. so 
I really want you want to educate it since I'm a voice that people hear. I want to go beyond the gender, beyond all those things. I want to just talk about the souls and to, I think if you're connecting to your soul and you feel good about it, you can age mm -hmm. and you will never feel bad about being old because why would you, you relate to, yeah. to your soul, yeah, you know. Because why would you? Because mm -hmm. the soul uh, <coughs> and the essence of everything is uh, limitless. Yeah, I and completely ages. agree with that, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, back to acting. <laughs> yes, please. So how was working with the director? How That was different, right? That was amazing. You know, that one thing that I, that I loved about my acting experience, it's that you're not here to be beautiful. You're here to be soulful, mm -hmm. to go back to that again. Mm -hmm. So um, it was the first time in my career that I didn't like to look perfect or to just like uh, be uh, so dramatically fierce or whatever. It was just that... Um, I forget the way you look. Exactly. We don't care. And yeah. if you, uh, you're not going to be successful as an actress about the way you look. You're going to be successful the way you play. Yeah. Because you're not even play. You live. How you live through the character. Through yes. Through the character. And so I think I did a very good job because I completely like left um, lose control. Mm -hmm. And I, I cried. I laughed for real. And all the emotions that my character. Uh, were supposed to have, I lived them for real, you know. Mm. I expressed them and it was really liberate, liberating to mm -hmm. me to do that. And interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. So mm -hmm. do you do, uh, when does it air? Like when it's, is it coming it's out? It's airing in March oh, 2019, nice. which is very close. And I hope it's going to be a success. I'm sure it will end up on Netflix and, and everything because mm -hmm. Canal mm -hmm. Plus is a very big... Yeah, keep me posted because yeah, I want to watch it for I will sure. keep you posted yeah. for sure. And I hope it's the beginning of a career as well. That would be amazing, yeah. mm -hmm. amazing, bravo, amazing. Thank you so yeah. Much. So, and I really hope that um, um, you know um, you get more jobs here, and I'll remember yeah, you I would too love, for, I would love here for future well. projects too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, I do feel like there there's a lot behind those eyes, and you can really you you can really. Um, uh, put yourself out there in whatever role you play. Merci beaucoup. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Ines, I know that you've written a book. I wrote a book. I'm sorry, I haven't read it. But it's French. Oh, so okay. So it's not in English yet. Of yeah. course you will get the one. The sexiest language. The one. <laughs> yes. So tell us about your book. So please. my book, the, the, the title of my book is Femme, mm -hmm. which means woman in French. Mm -hmm. So it goes straight to the point of people who wants to call you by other words and everything, it's femme, you know, it's straight to the point. And it's a, I don't want to be arrogant, but I think it's a very good book. I'm very proud about it. I, I had three years to work on it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I spent three years to work on it, on that book. And I wanted my book to be telling about my story, mm -hmm. but also to, as a novel, and I really want it to be like a, you know, I'm very sexually comfortable. Uh, I love sex. I think it's the most beautiful uh, link that you can have to a human being mm -hmm. among other, mm -hmm. other links. Connection. Connection, excuse me. Mm -hmm. And I wanted my book to be like a Fifty Shades of Grey from a girl mm -hmm. who happens to be born as a male, mm -hmm. then she has been in between, and then she was the woman she always been, mm -hmm. so, but I had, uh, I had an erotic life through all different shades of mm -hmm. uh, gender and mm -hmm. sexuality mm -hmm. so it's very interesting because i'm telling about all my sexual experience before in between after wait is it out it's what is it out already is it published it's published but it's in french okay but mm. i'm working now to have it translated in english that would be very love interesting it. it's yeah. so interesting yeah. i mean it's a human being who has been everyone mm -hmm. every sex every kind kind of gender Mm -hmm. So, and always had a tumultuous sex life, mm -hmm. which I completely own, own it, yeah, I'm proud about course, it, yeah. I have no shame about that. I'm French, you know, we're yeah. very... <laughs> oh, listen, yeah. we're human beings, exactly. and, and, and that's the beginning of life, so... So it's a sexy book, mm -hmm. I really wanted my book to be sexy and talk mm -hmm. about sex a lot, mm -hmm. but also about uh, the impossible being possible and the success being... In, being fr coming from the ghetto and everything, mm -hmm. but it's a book who's telling all my story, but from all my relationships with men, mm -hmm. because all the relationships made me realize, 
but I had to take another step, even though I knew it. I never did it for a man. But you know, relationships in general, even friendships, uh, you learn by yourself and others, you know. Right. So it's, it's a book who just like having the most uh, meaningful relationships that I had with men mm -hmm. at every level of my transition, who made me change country or made me go a step forward on my transition and everything. So mm -hmm. it's very, it talks a lot about love, mm -hmm. the love that I give to myself uh, going to be who I was and the love I had for those men that I've met as well. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a book about love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you will love it. Do you see yourself as a filmmaker? I would love to, yes. That's very smart of you to say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's what I would like to do later on. Yeah, yeah, so maybe you can um, produce your own film mm -hmm. based on your book. I would love it. I, I'm for sure the book, I would be co at least co-directing it for sure, mm -hmm. the movie. Because mm -hmm. it's too personal. It's going to be really complicated to, to give all the rights to a director to do my movie, which understand. is about my story, you know, mm -hmm. so... Yeah, I can understand yeah. that. Well, good luck with that. Thank I, you I, so I, much. I can't wait to see that already. <laughs> yeah, you will, you will enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely, nice definitely. Well, in that case, you might have to move to Los Angeles. I would love it. You, you know? like it here? Yeah. I, I like to have a French-American career. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I'm the first trans woman to be on the cover of Playboy in the history. You knew mm -hmm. that, right? Yes, of course. Yeah. I know. The New York yeah. Times yeah. talked about it and everything. So uh, I really like it here. I think USA gave me my chance before friends did. They're just following it. Mm -hmm. So my career in America is very important to me. And my biggest challenge is to play on the American movie here in Hollywood so I hope it's gonna happen because it's my biggest dream ever and I will work for it mm -hmm. you you will you'll get it done yeah I'm sure yes I'm I sure so. I'm sure I would like to be the French thing here in LA we you mm -hmm. don't have a lot of French actress based here you know mm -hmm. so and um, play all kinds of girls exactly <laughs> yeah, yes yeah, so all kinds mm -hmm. of characters well Ines this was a wonderful conversation. I really okay. enjoyed it a lot. Actually. Yes, it was yeah. very insightful and uh, you, you touched my heart when you really? talked. Yes, you have. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. I loved no. it. Yes, I wish you all the best in your we'll career. We'll see you soon, I'm yeah, sure. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Thank you so much thank for you. having me. Thank you, darling.